Meanwhile, 26 million toys recalled so far this year, and the vast majority of them made in China. So are toys made in the USA any safer? Our Greg Hunter is looking out for you, and he has a list here. Uh, there are also just some anecdotal reports. Uh, when they asked people, a bigger majority than usual said they are going to think twice about where these toys are made when they buy them this holiday season. The Made in the USA Today, Made in the USA label has some cachet. Now, the Federal Trade Commission says in order to tag an item made in the USA, all or virtually all of that product must be made in the United States. But does the Made in the USA label actually help when it comes to sales? Here's one company that says most definitely. The assembly line is running 24-7 at this Little Tykes toy plant in Hudson, Ohio, churning out its most popular toy, the Cozy Coop. Or what Little Tykes Executive Vice President Tom Pritchard calls... One of the best-selling cars in America that's made in America. Instead of in China, where 80% of toys sold in the U.S. are made. We've got some of the best people right here in Hudson, Ohio, that know how to, to make the product, and, and they're experts at doing it. Workers here earn between $15 and $25 an hour, far more than most of their Asian counterparts. Still, the company says those higher wages pay off by creating a product with unique appeal. With $600 million in sales expected this year, Little Tykes is trumpeting the Made in the USA pedigree. Made in America with Little Tykes means quality, it means safety, it means durability. And hopefully it means a trust that mom understands that it's safe. Marketing experts say the Made in the USA cachet goes far beyond Little Tykes. Consumers uh, right now, uh, in particular, equate equality with Made in America. Other popular toys like Slinkies and Crayola Crayons are also still made in the U.S. Consumer advocates say while U.S. made products are more likely to comply with regulations than toys made abroad. A Made in USA label does not equal uh, a safety certification. Weintraub wants the government to test all toys, no matter where they're made, instead of relying on the companies to do so. Little Tykes conducts its own safety tests, beginning with design. All products are first created in wood or foam, and then put to the test. It's more stable. This slide set started out a little shaky, so they tacked on a foot. And on every item made here, Little Tykes is adding this label, made in the USA. Is this just a sales toy, or are you proud of this? No, this is more than anything. It's to help moms find the product that they're looking for easier. Little Tykes does make some toys overseas, but says the majority, nearly 70%, are made in Ohio, and they don't have any plans to change that anytime soon. And one more thing, if you have a story about fraud, waste, or abuse, please contact me at lookingout.com or lookingout at cnn.com. Hey, Karen, there's some toys made right here in the USA, and one of them is the Slinky, the good old Slinky. A lot of cachet to this. Also, this is mostly made in the USA, Crayola Crayons. They have some factories abroad, as you pointed out. Uh, during the story. They have some factories abroad, but mostly made in the USA, Crayola crayons. And uh, one thing that's a big, big hot seller these days are labels. This company says it's uh, made in the USA labels are up 23% over last year. They just need year. more toys to stick them on since 80% of the toys are made overseas. It, but it's interesting because you said the little tykes, they haven't had a recall in two years. According to the number two at the company, I also asked them about phthalates, which are banned in California. That's the, that's the uh, com uh, compound that makes plastics malleable. And uh, they did away with that a few years ago, several years ago, as a matter of fact, because they banned it overseas. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're banning it in the state of California as of the first of this year. So they have none of that compound that could cause kids to have problems in any of their toys. And of course, they don't paint their toys, they extrude them out of plastic. Right. So bottom line, are toys that are made in the USA quote unquote safer? Well, here's what some people say, some consumer advocates, they say American companies that operate here are more likely to comply with existing laws. They know what they are, they know what they should do, so you don't see the big recalls. For example, uh, you know, Little Tykes have had a recall in a couple of years. You don't see them spraying with lead paint. You don't see the same types of recalls that you've had these tons, millions and millions of recalls from overseas. They're just not up to speed to our standards. Greg, thanks a lot. All right.